In nature, nothing is perfect and everything is perfect. Alice Walker. A forest of tall green trees. Next, Siren sits on a moss-covered log in Olympic National Park. Hi, I'm Sara Nagakiri. I use she and they pronouns, but please refer to me as they. I have multiple invisible disabilities and identify as a white, queer, gender fluid person from a poor and working class background. My family includes many people with disabilities. As a child, I spent hours outside, sitting under a tree or gazing at the moon. I noticed how different the plants and animals were from each other. This awareness helped me feel less isolated. I sensed that even though I was different from the other kids, I had a place in the world. It took me a long time to feel comfortable exploring what my body could do, and it wasn't until my mid-20s that I started to experience outdoor recreation. But I quickly realized that few people really understood disability or knew how to provide the kind of transparent information and support that I needed to participate in an activity. People would tell me I didn't belong if I couldn't participate like everyone else. They said I needed to push through or stay behind. It was hard. I was reckoning with my own internalized ableism and need for connection and healing, and experiencing daily harm and isolation caused by ableism in the community. In the spring of 2018, my years of frustration came to a head. I had recently moved to the Olympic Peninsula and was spending hours researching hikes. I decided to attempt a trail that was easy, but as soon as I started, I encountered steep stairs and a narrow, rocky path along a steep drop-off. It put me in a dangerous situation, and none of this information had been listed in any of the guides that I read. I did reach my destination, exhausted and in pain, and as I rested at the waterfall, I was inspired to start my organization, Disabled Hikers. Siren walks down a forest path using a cane. Disabled Hikers writes detailed trail guides and leads supportive group hikes in an effort to build community for disabled people in the outdoors. By providing detailed information up front and removing the pressure to keep up with the group, we help people feel supported. Folks are encouraged to take a break or turn back whenever needed, and decisions about the route are made as a group. There is mounting evidence that time in nature provides a range of benefits, including physical exercise, emotional well-being, and a sense of belonging. This is why access to the outdoors is so important. And yet people who need these benefits the most, the disability community, face the most barriers to access in the outdoors. The good news is we don't have to summit a mountain to gain these benefits. You can enjoy nature through your window, on a park bench with a friend, or by noticing the plants and animals on your daily commute. You can experience nature wherever you are. But disabled people should not be excluded from outdoor recreation just because non-disabled people think we don't belong there. A sign reads Madison Creek Falls Trail with an accessibility symbol. There are really simple changes that can be made to outdoor spaces, such as improved audio and visual signage, an audio description device at the trailhead. Welcome to Olympic National Park. This unit provides audio description for the two exhibit panels at this location. Widening and smoothing paths and removing barriers. Even if physical changes aren't possible, clear information about the accessible and inaccessible features is so important so that disabled folks can make their own informed decisions. Disability is one of the most natural experiences and nature mirrors that in so many ways. As Alice Walker says, nothing and everything is perfect. Siren waves next to a sign that reads Olympic National Park, Elwha Valley. Please join me in advocating for improved accessibility and information for disabled people in the outdoors so that we can all enjoy everything that nature has to offer. Learn more at rootedinrights.org slash access nature. Written and directed by Siren Nagakiri. Special thanks to Olympic National Park and the Quinault, Quileute, and Sklalem who are the first peoples of this land. Produced by Rooted in Rights.